You may have seen in a previous video that I used this to calibrate some monitors, but now we're going to go ahead and try the TV calibration feature. So I got the Spider 5 Elite, which means I went to the Data Color website and I'm downloading the Spider 5 Elite program and I'm going to run the installer. You should just be able to blast through this next, 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 next. Let's hit next. I have the Spider 5 Elite icon now on the desktop, so we'll just double click on that. Blah, 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 blah. So this is the Spider 5 Elite. When you take it out of the box, you'll have this thing, USB connection, and uh, you'll notice that this white thing, there's a white thing here. This is actually the ambient light sensor, and you, you can pull this apart, and the sensor is actually located on the back um, of this cover. So this is just kind of like a cover. When you open it up, you have the sensor behind here and the ambient light thing. Actually, no, let's wait for the, uh, it's still installing uh, drivers here and have to enter a serial number or license code. Because this is the Elite, the Elite version gives you unlimited uh, installs of the software. I don't know of any other version, so I'm assuming that other versions of the Spider are limited to like one or two installs or something. The serial number is located on the inside of the box, which I shouldn't be showing you. Okay, so then we have an activate via internet option. Activation successful. Would you like to activate on my server? Sure. All right, so after you got everything plugged in, software installed, we're gonna go to, it's saying that your display should be warmed up and allowed for half an hour before calibration. Lighting conditions. When we calibrate, we're not we're calibrating in the environment in which we're going to optimally watch the TV or, or be at the computer. For this, I'm going to close the blinds here because usually when I'm watching TV, there's no ambient light coming in from the window. One of the key lights, I'm just going to turn it away while we calibrate. Have I reset my monitor settings? Picture reset. So let's do that. Uh, set the color temperature control to 65K. Yeah, no, this is just a basic TV. It's not going to have those controls, so we'll say, okay, fine. It's a desktop monitor. Indicate which controls your display offers. Brightness, yes. I do not have Calvin presets, so we're going to skip that. So we're going to leave all these defaults. Gamma 2.2, I don't have control over that. White point 65K, I don't have control over that. Brightness 120, that's fine. Just going to hit next. Place the spider on the desk as shown. This is where it's going to take an ambient light reading. So I'm just going to put it here in the middle of the room. So it's detecting that there's a certain amount of brightness here. Recommended target settings. It's going to be brightness is going to be at 180 and white point at 6500. So accept and let's continue. And now this is where we're going to have to place the spider. I don't want to hold it here. So because I don't want to hold it. It's just masking tape. So it's no big deal. And it's going to start calibrating next. There we go. This yellow line here that you're seeing here, that's that's from the, the TV. Can't get rid of that. Not like there's something wrong with the TV, just the, uh, I guess just the LED, the refresh rate, screwing up with the camera. It's telling me that uh, I need to increase my brightness based on that uh, ambient light sensor. It's telling me I need to be at 180. I'm currently at 159. And those the yellow lines are really annoying. Sorry about that. Let's go 60, enter. I just basically tell this thing to update. Yeah, I'm getting closer. I'm now at 167. 70 should do it. I'm in the zone. Please remove your spider and click finish. Next, I am looking at the calibrated view. Let's switch to the uncalibrated view. Yes. I don't know if you guys can see that, but if I switch, it's the colors aren't as saturated. So let's take her for example. Just look at her skin tone. This is the uncalibrated. Uh, that's the calibrated, but again, it's hard to say what this actually really looks like. 
Let's go into uh, this kid here with the flowers. Oops, one, two, okay. I'm at the calibrated view now. Yeah, uncalibrated, it's a little, there's a little bit of a gray haze. The, you can see how uncalibrated, look at the, uh, the plant there, the green in the plant. I don't know if that's really showing up actually. I can see the skin tones look like they're showing up in the, on the camera, so that's uncalibrated. Calibrated. What about the whites and the flowers? The whites and the flowers don't look like they get changed much. The greens, so it's just, it's overall just more, more saturated. So this is the uncalibrated view. Calibrated view. Uncalibrated, calibrated. You can see just more saturation. 97% of sRGB, 71% of NTSC, 76% of Adobe RGB, and we're done.